हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम हिबलर डायनामिक्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट डिजाइन कंसीडरेशन फॉर द बम्पर बी ऑन द 5 मेगा ग्राम ट्रेन कार रिक्वायर यूज ऑफ नॉन लीनियर स्प्रिंग हैविंग द लोड डिफ्रिक्शन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स शोन इन द ग्राफ सेलेक्ट द प्रॉपर वैल्यू ऑफ के सो दैट द मैक्सिमम डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द स्प्रिंग इज लिमिटेड टू 0.2 मीटर्स when the car traveling at 4 meter per second strikes the rigid stop neglect the mass of the car and wheels so here we have the bumper uh, and the bumper uh, the spring is used and we are required to find the stiffness of their spring so initially this is the state one of this car so it is moving with a initial velocity of 4 meter per second and at state 2 when it strikes with the stop so the bumper experiences the force from the stop so if we consider uh, this car when it just hits that stop so it will have a the the force will be applied from the stop on this bumper in this direction and let's say this is that force f which is equal to k s square so we are required to find this k value for the design of this bumper so if we consider the free body diagram of this car so it will have its own weight which is going to act vertically downward and the resultant normal force will be acting vertically upward on this uh, train in the upward direction now as we can see that the train is moving towards the right in the horizontal direction the distance is traveled in the horizontal direction and the direction of this weight and this normal they are perpendicular to the distance traveled so they are not going to produce the work done so they so they are not doing any work on this car only this uh bumper force or we can say that the force which is applied by this stop is is doing work on this car so the work done due to this force f can be determined by finding the area under this graph we are given this f versus s characteristics of that spring so let's say that somewhere here that s is equal to 0.2 so we need to find if we want to find the work done due to that force f so that would be equal to the area under this graph and the area under this graph can be determined by considering a small differential strip and adding the areas of all those differential strips so the height of this differential strip will be given by that f value and the width is let's say ds so that area will be equal to f times ds and if we add up all those areas from s equals to 0 until x equals to 0.2 so we we will be able to find the work done due to that force f so we need to integrate this from 0 to 0.2 and this is from 0 to 0.2 f is k s square so a k s square ds and if i integrate this and this is u f the work done due to that force f so this will be k and if we integrate this so this is k s cube divided by 3 from 0 to 0.2 and this will be equal to if we put these limits so this is k 0.2 to the power 3 divided by 3 so we can find this it is 0.2 to the power 3 divided by 3 so this is uh 2.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 this 2.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 joules and this is multiply by that k value which we are required to determine now if we apply the work energy principle so from the work energy principle we can say that the kinetic energy at state 1 plus the summation of the work done by the external forces from state 1 to state 2 equals to the kinetic energy at state 2 so at state 2 this car will it will eventually stop right so that velocity a2 will be equal to 0 so if it stops then the kinetic energy at stage 2 is 0 right so we can write the dt2 is 0 and the kinetic energy at state 1 is half mass and we are given that the mass is 5 mega gram right so let me write that mass is 5 into 10 raised to the power 6 grams 
so we need to convert it into kg so 1 kg 1 kg is 10 raised to the power 3 uh, grams so we will be left with this will cancel so we will be left with 5 into 10 raised to the power 3 kg right so the mass in kg is 5 multiply by 10 raised to the power 3 or we can say that 5000 into v1 square so v1 is 4 so this is 4 square and the work done due to the external force is this work done which is 2.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 into k and as we can see that the car is traveling towards the right and the force f is applied towards the left so they are in the opposite direction so the work done due to this force f will be negative so we have to write minus sign here and this is equal to 0 or if i bring this term to the other side of the equation so we will have the equation like this and to find k this will be uh, 5000 divided by 2 is 2500 2500 into 4 square is 16 divided by this this is 2.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 so 2500 into 16 divided by 2.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 so this is if we count this uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we can say that the k is equal to 14.98 into 10 raised to the power 6 and its units will be in newton per meter right this will be newton per meter right or we can say that this is approximately 14.98 is approximately 15 and 10 raised to the power 6 is mega so this is mega newton per meter so this is that spring stiff stiffness which we require in order to have a maximum deflection of 0.2 meters right so there will be a maximum deflection in that bumper spring before this car will come to rest so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning kindly subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning also like this video if you people want me to continue with this chapter 14